Hello class 41, Orange Group, Mr. Waterman here with today's language arts lesson in period two. On Thursday, July 15th, 2021, I hope your day is off to a great start. So we finished our period one lesson, having read two more fables. By now, hopefully you have completed your response. Now, in period two, we are going to have a grammar lesson, just as we do every Thursday in school. Now, I know many of you have left your grammar workbooks at school. Not to worry, I have scanned the pages and I have attached them. So please make sure you print them off before continuing with this video or have mom or dad print them off for you now. We are working on page 47, starting on page 47 of our grammar workbook and we are looking at rule number 12 today, okay? We're going to be looking at different types of verbs. So, please read along with me. Listen very carefully. A verb tells what is happening to the noun. Action verbs show an action. Let's look at the examples. My dog ran away. She went home after school. So our action verbs, my dog ran away, ran is our action verb. She went home after school. Went is our action verb. Now let's look at some other special types of verbs. Maybe you have learned about this before. Linking verbs. It's very important. I'm going to underline this, linking verbs. Linking verbs connect the subject to a noun or an adjective that describes it. The most commonly used linking verbs are Am, is, are, was, and were. Let's look at the example sentences. His sister is the trumpet player. Is is the linking verb. The clowns were funny. Were is also our linking verb, okay? In the example, his sister is the trumpet player, is, is describing the sister. So she's telling us that she is the trumpet player. In the second example, the clowns were funny. Were is describing how the clowns are. They were funny. Now, let's look at helping verbs. Now, you all know why I'm underlining these keywords because you are bound to see them as bonus words on a spelling test in the future. Helping verbs come before the main verb to tell about the action. Some helping verbs are will, has, had, have, could, would, should, do, does, and did. So I'm going to underline all of these. And remember, on Fridays, we have a grammar quiz. So make sure that after you complete the activities that you study these because you're going to have a quiz tomorrow on Friday. Now let's look at the examples of the helping verbs. I will call you later. The helping verb is will and the main verb is call. 
She has been camping for a week. The helping verb is has. And it's coming before the main verb, been. Next, you should read that story. Should is our helping verb, and it comes before our main verb, read. The last example, the astronauts did land on the moon. Did is our helping verb. It comes before our main verb, which is land. Please study and remember these examples. Now, let's move on to page 48. Action verbs. The directions. Write an action verb in each blank. Please listen as I read each sentence. One, the students blank to the playground. Two, the horse blank over the fence. Three, Pam blank a pitcher. Four, the worm blank on the ground. Five, Lee blank a model rocket into the sky. Six, she blank a story about herself. Seven, he blank a dime on the sidewalk. Eight, they blank during recess. Okay, now you can choose any action verbs you want, right? So remember action verbs, of course, show an action, okay? Let's do one together. The students blank to the playground. I'm going to say the students ran to the playground, R-A-N. That's always a good action verb to use because students want to play on the playground, right? That's right. Let's do one more. Number two, the horse blank over the fence. I'm going to say the horse jumped, J-U-M-P-E-D. Okay. The horse jumped over the fence. Please do numbers three through eight on your own. When you are finished, please turn to page 49. Which linking verb? It says to write the correct linking verb in each blank. You have the choices below. You should circle it and write it. Please listen as I read the examples. William blank, the first person to cross the finish line. The choices are was, are, were. Two, William said, I blank proud of the way I ran. The choices are, are, am, were. Three, Ben and Lexi, blank, the second and third people to cross the finish line. The choices are was, were, is. Four, they said, we blank proud of the way we ran. Your choices are am, is, are. Five, Leo blank the last person to cross the finish line. Your choices are were, are, was. Six, he said I blank last 
but I blank also proud of the way I ran. For the first blank, your choices are, are, was, is. For the second one, your choices are, am, is, were. Seven, Leo continued, this blank, the first time I ever finished a race. Your choices are, am, were, was. And number eight, William, Ben, and Lexi, blank, all proud of Leo. Your choices are, is, was, were. Let's do a few together. Number one, William was the first person to cross the finish line. Then we'll do one more. William said, I am proud of the way I ran. And there you have it. Please do numbers three through eight on your own. Don't forget to circle the linking verbs and write them in the blanks. When you're finished, please turn to page 50. The final page is titled, Choose the Helping Verb. Write the correct helping verb in each blank. Okay, please listen as I read the sentences again. One, May and Ray. Oh, Ray, there's your name. May and Ray asked if they, blank, play a game of checkers. Two, their mother was, I'm oh, sorry, for number one, your choices are could, do, and has. Two, their mother wasn't sure they blank play the game. Your choices are has, have, should. Three, she asked if they blank made their beds. Your choices are has, had, do. Four, May and Ray said we blank make our beds right away. Your choices are will, has, does. Five, after they blank made their beds, they played the game. Your choices are will, had, did. Number six, Ray and May said if we could, we blank play checkers all day. Your choices are did, would, and have. Let's do a few together. One, May and Ray asked if they could play a game of checkers. Let's circle it and write it. C-O-U-L-D. And number two. Their mother wasn't sure they should play the game. Should. S-H-O-U-L-D. Okay. Now please do numbers three through six on your own. And that's it, students, for today's grammar lesson on verbs. We have studied action verbs that show an action. We have studied linking verbs. They connect the subject to a noun or an adjective that describes it. Some of the common linking verbs are am, is, are, was, and were. We also learned about helping verbs. They come before the main verb to tell about the action. Some of the helping verbs we studied are will, has, had, have, could, would, should, do, does, and did. 
Study these because you're going to have a quiz tomorrow. And that was the preview of tomorrow's quiz. All right, that's all you get. Take care, stay safe and well. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message on Class Dojo or, of course, email me. Enjoy the rest of your day studying. Bye-bye for now.